Hello, and welcome back for another episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're playing this Vampire Air Elementalist of Kiku Bakudga for week six of the Crawl Sudden Death Challenge. In the last video, we did a bunch of boring tomb crap. <laughs> uh, killed a ton of greater mummies, and we're about to head down into tomb two, where we'll probably kill some more. Uh, oh, oh, it's a little messier than I would have liked. Uh, the mummy priest right next to me, though. I'll kill that happily enough. Down you go. Kill another mummy. Take this stuff upstairs. Um, help. Is it Benu? I can't dispel him, can I? No, he's not undead. Let's just have some corpses and some simulacra. And that really ought to just take care of it, right? Uh, but apparently I need to be, like, more careful in here. have a bunch of uh, dragon simulacra, so that's going to help for the next, uh, next little stair dance episode here. Let's get the mummy priest. I'd like to get the Anubis guards, but I can just take them upstairs. <laughs> yeah, get, get murdered, man. That is pretty good. Downstairs, upstairs, and they're just absolutely getting destroyed by all these simulacra. This is like cheating. I'm a fan. Uh, I don't need more health than this. Not while I'm bloodless. Uh, dispel. Dispel. Yeah. Now wield uh, lightning rod is what we decided works pretty well against these guys. There he goes. And um, let's bottle him up. I don't know. Maybe I should have just made simulacra. I have plenty of blood already. But I think it's fine. This, like I said in the last video, this part of Tomb 2 is not the hard part of Tomb. Uh, it's usually the easiest part of Tomb 2. Of Tomb, rather. Well, we got petrified. Who cares? Uh, unlike in some roguelikes, petrification is just a temporary thing. It greatly increase, increases your armor while not allowing you to move at all. Um, and in some situations, that can be very dangerous. But it doesn't just instantly kill you. Uh, and right there, with no monsters around, I was like, whatever. It'll be fine. So we're done exploring. That was Tomb 2, guys. See you in the next video. Um, it took about, what, three minutes. Uh, okay, so I was right. This part isn't hard. Uh, but now, now we get to the final chapter of Tomb, Tomb 3, where basically there are three staircases down, uh, here, 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 and they all, and the one we're standing on, and they all lead to the same place where we are just going to be uh, backed into a corner, and there's going to be undeads everywhere. Which, eh, I, I feel like we're ready for. I still wish I had an apportation, but I couldn't really use it to steal the rune here very efficiently. So, um, is there anything I should do before I head downstairs? I should rest. Uh, and I think it would help to be bloodless this time. There we go. Uh, just to get... All right, nothing here. There they are. A bunch of Ushabdis, huh? Well, let's make some simulacra. Did we just get one? Oh no, really? She can't find any cadavers for me? Is that a thing that happens? But I thought, like, there would be Anubis guards or dragons or something that I could make simulacra out of. I guess I'll have to stair dance the Ushabtis, too. Oh, well. So let's put some corpses here, I guess. And 
and uh, make Simulacra out of this. And go back downstairs. Can I get anything with this? Looks like no. Okay, we're just gonna skip a turn here, let some more Shabdis get to us so I can stair dance them more effectively. Yeah, whatever, I'll take it upstairs now. Kill it, please. Thank you. And up we go. Uh, let's make these into simulacra now. Uh, I'll kill the shadow. You guys need to kill the Ushabtis, please. Is Ushabti? I didn't. Oops. I just cast a spell at it instead of telling everything to attack it. Is Ushabti the right plural? Uh, what is the plural of Ushabti? Could be Ushabtis, I don't know. Uh, and let's animate all these centaurs while we're here, sure. They're probably going to rot pretty soon, so... What did we get? Just a bunch of uh, undead. Not a big surprise. Hmm. There's, uh, there's not going to be a lot to say here, I hope. Um, if there is anything to say, it'll be because things are going badly. Uh, which I'm sure, you know, is some of the reason why you guys are here, to see how how I react to things going badly, either, like, as a schadenfreude thing, or because, like, that's when actual interesting decisions are being made. Most of what goes on in Crawl, like, you can just sort of do whatever. Um, what's interesting is recognizing as quickly as possible when things are going badly, and doing something productive about it. Yeah, let's dispel that and like corpses please. Those are pretty good uh, simulacra though. I gotta say Kiku, even though you can't find me any downstairs, I do appreciate these guys. Uh, let's drink some blood actually. I want my health back. And I haven't seen many Tormentors down there, I don't think, yet. There obviously will be a lot, um, but there aren't a bunch yet. Not um, in sight of me. And uh, yeah, so two Mummy Priests. The Anubis Guard. So like, it's just, it's a mess down here. I wonder, I'm gonna try the Lightning Rod. I can spend a couple turns down here, right? We'll see. I'd like to get the Anubis guards with this more than anything, but they're like, it's way up here. So I'll just settle for some mummy priests. How's that? And then this. It didn't kill very much, did it? But there's a ton of stuff that's almost dead. I'm pushing my luck here, I guess, but I do want that to turn into some kills. There we go. I'll have to settle for that. And take everything here upstairs. This is a kind of unmanageably large group to take, really. I mean, it's going to be fine, but I should have been more cautious. Yeah, mostly this Anubis Guard is the issue. And he's dead now. Uh, so let's regen while our zombies take care of all this stuff. 
I want to get down there as soon as I can while um, while the stuff that I hit with lightning is still all damaged, basically. And I, I'm not sure if like a vampire who is nearly bloodless but has regeneration on regens faster or slower than a normal human. It's probably slower, so they're probably all healed by now. Let's see. Oh, the Ushabti is heavily damaged somehow. I'm not sure how that happened. Well, we got a Mummy Priest and we got an Iron Dragon Simulacrum, both of which I am happy to take upstairs. Okay, uh, let's rest just long enough to get some magic back. Oh, put on the Staff of Death again. I guess? I don't actually know. The lightning rod might be better to have down there, but the thing I might need in a hurry is the Staff of Death if I... So let's dispel the Iron Dragon Simulacrum, I guess, so he can't push me off the stairs and take several Ushabtis upstairs? Oh, it says Ushabtu in the monster list. Goodness. Ushabtu. Who knows what that is? Dire elephants, that's pretty good. Any other corpses around? Where's the golden dragons? Where are the golden dragons at, bro? Give me some of that. It's a blade trap, I don't mind. And there go all the Ushabti, that's cool. Uh, let's drink some blood, I need a little more health back here. And down we go. We got several guardian mummies basically on this go. Yeah, that looks like everything. Guardian mummies are not really a concern. And I'm just gonna rest here downstairs. Some of the scarier stuff is starting to approach. None of it has found us yet, huh? There's an Anubis guard, though. So let's switch to... Whoa. <laughs> the Rod of Ignition. Oh, it looks so fun! Just send fireballs through these guys like mad, but I don't think there's any real need. I'm just going to cast Control Undead to create a bit of chaos in the ranks while I wait for some more frightening stuff to arrive. And uh, I guess I will use the lightning rod on this on this uh, Anubis guard, unless something more frightening happens. Killed it. Good. Let's let's abjure. All right, this is going okay. I don't, I don't want to stay down here. Oh yeah, especially not if I'm gonna get tormented. Peace out. Uh, are there any other corpses left? Yes, there's that golden dragon that I saved for later. Oh, I have. Oh, friendly death scarab. He came upstairs. Oh, what a guy. My uh, the one in my thrall. That's cute. That's handy. Is there still a corpse here? There is. I'm going to animate it now before it rots away. Mm, this is a fine amount of health, I suppose. It will do. OK, we got two mummy priests. That's plenty. And an Anubis guard. I'll stand on the other side of some zombies from him. B 
because again, uh, it requires line of sight. Is this this stuff is all summoned, right? Yeah, it's about to disappear. Cool. Let's drink some blood. Regen again. Looking forward to that turn point, man. Ah, uh, this has been a chore. Uh, and the thing is, I still got to pay attention because it could go bad. We got a greater mummy here, and we got tormented rather a lot. Um, so I think I'm going to spend uh, a turn on haste just in case. And then dispel the, not the mummy. I don't give two shits about the mummy. Get the greater mummy, please. All right. We got him. Didn't need the haste, but I feel better for, for using it. Uh, and I think, yeah, let's just regen some more. Drink some blood, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Why did it say that? When I hit quaff and then exclamation point. Why does it, what? Apparently that's how you trigger, use E to drain blood from corpses. What happens if I have like quaff percent? That's so weird. All right, whatever, man. Um, there's a Nubis thing here, right? Let's just animate that. And just keep resting. Piety down to three pips, yikes. But again, it's not, well, it means we're not being protected from torment by Kiku, but still the death curses. And uh, there's so many greater mummies here. What did we get? A couple guardian mummies. Hmm. All right, at least now we got an Anubis guard. Uh, let's actually control undead. Everyone, kill the Anubis guard. <laughs> oh, the best, the best. Oh, that was actually, whoops. That one was actually mine. It wasn't charmed. I animated that myself. I, that was the one I would have liked to, to keep alive. Oh, well. No. Yes. And rest, and down. Five greater mummies, a hell sentinel. All right, let's abjure. Wait, actually, can I just go back upstairs? Yeah, I have a greater mummy and a mummy priest. That's plenty. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought we had taken the lich with us and the hell sentinel. That could have been a problem. Let's dispel the mummy priest first, since he does about as much damage and is much easier to dispel. The, the Death Scarabs ran into a trap and got killed. That's pretty funny. Quaff uh, blood, regen. There's so many greater mummies down there. I almost feel like I have to be bloodless before I go back down. But I think I'll be all right. The Lich is a problem, because uh, he's summoning greater demons. I'm just going to abjure as well before I head in. I did not need to repeat that Azakuba's armor. Uh, and down. What did we get? A Lich, a greater mummy, and a mummy priest. OK. Uh, let's dispel the Lich first. This is a lot of stuff. Now the mummy priest. Might, maybe should have done him first, I don't know.
Ooh. Um, I didn't notice we were getting low on hell, uh, magic here. That was a, an error. Let's teleport. Yes. Okay. Quaff. Something. Let's quaff curing. If he chooses to smite, we're slowed, so he could conceivably get two turns, right? If he chooses to smite on both of those turns, he could roll like 34 damage. Uh, and even then, we don't need to quaff curing, but I'm going to take one just in case. And uh, I could try to dispel him, or I could just abjure uh, to last longer. Uh, I think I'll try to dispel him. It didn't work. But I got out of there. And nothing knows where I am. In fact, we're in the other half of Tomb 2, so he can't even reach me. Let's just hide in the corner. <laughs> Drink some blood. Don't have any. Kiku. I don't have enough magic. Well, that's true. You can't argue with that one. Do I actually need Kiku's help here at the moment? Yes, because there's a new Shabdi I can't deal with. So let's bottle this. Animate this. Kill. Cloth blood. Assign the blood to be on one. Jeez. One and all right, we seem to be fine now. And let's head back to where we were. Ugh, everyone, kill this Ushabti. <laughs> So that was, we pulled more than I would have liked all at once. There's a mummy priest here, actually, which is not great. Okay, got the mummy priest. Good work, all these animated dudes. I sort of thought we cleared this area out, but apparently not. Blundered into a Zot Trap. Well, whatever. Let's just abjure it. Oh, it's durably summoned. How strange. Huh. Well, let's recall. Thanks. Good work, guys. Hop to it. Go kill. Okay, let's rest and regen before we head up the stairs, even though there shouldn't be anything on the other side of the stairs, just in case. This is taxing, it is, and it's taken all my piety. Bleh. And, oh, the greater mummy is still here, of course. Well, that makes sense, honestly. Uh, I guess we need more corpses. I got one turtle simulacrum. Well, jeepers, this greater mummy causing some some issues for me. Yeah, but even the simulacra are doing an okay job with him. And they got the Ushabdi just sort of on the way. Okay. Uh, what else can we do? We can bottle this. Animate this in a minute. Drink some blood, I guess. 
Yep, there we go. Now we have a million eight-headed Hydra Simulacra. Hydra Simulacra are so scary as a player. Mm. All right, we have all the pips of negative energy resistance, so down we go, I guess. Right? Uh, actually, one second. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, back down. So much damage. What did we pull here? Guardian Mummy with a Ring of Dexterity. Uh, let's dispel this Greater Mummy, see if we can get him, maybe. Well, we got him. Let's just hope it wasn't more than I can handle. A lot of stuff happened when I came up the stairs. Uh, let's step northeast so the Anubis Guard can't dispel undead. And there's all these summoned death scarabs, which... I don't know. I think I'll just dispel the greater mummy. But I do need to be alert. Yeah, that stuff could happen. Okay, that took care of that. Now the Anubis Guard is dead. Okay, so on the one hand, we're very low on health, and that looks like a close call. And it sort of was, uh, but a lot of the stuff in Tomb is like multiplicative danger, right? Not additive. And, you know, we were a lot of halvings of our hit points away from death. Which is not to say that we were in totally fine shape. Things could have gone badly. Um, but their main source of damage... Oops, I cast regen again. Whatever. I guess I should, really. Is Torment. Uh, which doesn't do a lot when you're at 34. I mean, it takes you down to 17. You know, no... Well, actually... Uh, with with all this negative energy resistance, it's probably like down to like 22 or something. But um, it's not going to kill you. So the the main threat actually was the Anubis Guard because he can dispel undead, which is a lot of flat damage combined with the torment. That's how you can how I could have been killed there. So I was trying to stay away from the Anubis Guard and not worry too much about the Greater Mummy. Uh, I guess we're ready to go back down. What did we get this time? A Guardian Mummy and two Greater Mummies. Okay, well that's a lot of progress. Um, assuming we can actually kill it all. There goes one. And the Greater Mummy. Got him. Now the Guardian Mummy. And this mummy who, like, appeared as a death curse for some stupid reason. And let's regen. Any corpses around? I would really appreciate some corpses, but of course not. A couple skeletons I could animate, I guess. And down we go. I really want to get this done before I run out of piety, but there's only the one greater mummy left in this area. And most stuff actually does come find you uh, at the staircase. I'll probably miss a few greater mummies, uh, but mostly once we're done stair dancing here, we'll be done. Um, now it's like Anubis guards are the issue. I think I saw a greater mummy come into view. Something, something that was red on the monster list, I think, which could only really be a greater mummy. Um, so let's get out the lightning rod. It's on R. And take these guys out. 
down they go. And I would really love some corpses, please. Uh, yeah, that's a greater mummy. Why have I, what? Why do I know what this is? This is weird. There's no way I went down there, right? I can't think of any reason that I would know that area. It's as if I were standing like, look, the map won't even, it won't even go down that far. That area is supposedly explored, but I can't move the cursor down there. Uh, that is super, something is broken there. Um, and I am going to back up my save so I can report that as a bug. Wait, it just got, the area just got bigger. What? It's as if I were standing where? Right? Right here. As if I somehow stood there. Uh, so I say back up my save. Uh, you, let's see, point 0.17. As a player, you don't have the option to like, um, yes, help, <laughs> uh, advanced options, backup save. I apparently have to hit N. I, N seems like it should mean no, but, uh, all right, let me just grab this. And, uh, uh, write it down somewhere. I'm not going to write the whole bug report now, but There's some sort of issue that I have seen before that reveals like a little tiny three by three area of a map, but it always seems to do that in only inside of solid walls. And this is bigger than three by three too. Uh, I gave the right keys, right? X, G, W, three. Yeah. Okay. So now I've got that. I wrote that down. Uh, that's something that it's uh, it's nice to do. You know, if you um, notice something going wrong, and you're playing online, you can actually back up your save, and uh, so that whoever wants to take care of it can see exactly what's wrong, and um, and then you can report it. Uh, and these things tend to get fixed, which is nice. Actually, I'm going to wield the lightning rod. I think that's a thing I will need more. Uh, oh, let's try the Rod of Ignition. I'm finally going to get the chance, huh? And let's shoot it at, like, here. Yeah, I know it'll hit me once. It's fine. I actually, like an idiot, missed the Anubis Guard, I think. Yeah. The Anubis Guard is almost dead. Wield the Lightning Rod. Let's finish that guy off. And try, I don't know, zapping this as well on the way. Got the Anubis Guard. And meanwhile, we have pulled two more Anubis Guards. So let's take that all upstairs. This is actually a lot of stuff, um, more than I would like. So I'm going to need some more corpses, I suppose, and animate some alligator skeletons. Uh, all right, I'm going to step up. Yes, walk onto the blade trap. 
animate this stuff and get out of line of sight of the Anubis guards. Holy cow. And they're dead. Great. Quaff blood, heal, heal, heal. I think that I've decided that I don't need to be bloodless to go down there. Very thirsty is fine, and that gives me a lot more room to go up and down the stairs many times uh, without ha before I between incidents where I have to ask Kiku for help. And uh, I think Kiku is feeling a little bit uh, taken advantage of. So this is an Anubis guard corpse. Let's just bottle that. Uh, ooh, ow. Tweaked my neck there. Hmm. OK. Um, what's left down there? Still, still like an ancient lich. Is this a greater mummy? Yep. So there's still some stuff down there, for sure. Hmm, that was a torment. Don't like eating a torment. Black Mamba, let's see, can't constrict me, so that's fine. Good, we got the Ancient Lich. That's something I would like to take care of quickly. They can Crystal Spear for quite a bit of damage. We would be likely to dodge, and it if it did hit us, it probably wouldn't kill us. But I think if they got super lucky and I got super unlucky, like, could it do 127 damage in one go? Maybe. I'd rather not find out. Ancient liches are no joke. Uh, it's just, it's just, I don't care about this black mama skeleton really. Let's just use the lightning rod on a newest guard. Yeah, and there goes the uh, Black Mama Skeleton already. And there goes another Anubis Guard. Let's take this one upstairs. He's dead already. Dispel that. All right, feeling good, feeling good. Switch to the Staff of Death. Regen. Armor up. Downstairs. Abjure. Where even is the greater mummy that these guys belong to? Hello? Uh, wield another lightning rod, I guess? Got him. There's the Anubis scar, or the greater mummy. Rod of destruction. Zapparuni. Maybe. Okay. Okay, Amethyst says somebody else has a similar bug, and I'll, I'll link to my save there. Do, 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 do. Oh, of course, I can't load the other guy's save. I wanted to see. Uh, okay. Ah, whatever, I'll do it later. Uh, what was going on? We were, I guess, probably drinking blood because I'm low on health here. And waiting for a greater mummy and an Anubis guard to arrive. Right? Looks that way. So let's use this, have the Staff of Death ready anyway. And the Greater Mummy made the mistake of getting into range. Ugh. All right, that's one more Greater Mummy out of this world. And any corpses I could eat, perhaps? Quaff. Well, 
Let's try to bottle another one first. Yeah, quaff blood. Great. All right, we are off the staircase, guys. That is like we're practically done with tomb. I mean, there's still more work to be done, but. Uh, and we can't let our guard down because some of that work, you know, is dangerous. But mostly it's just going to be, you know, scattered showers from here on out, basically. I wish I could deal with these guys a little bit more quietly, but, you know, a lightning rod will have to do. Um, a ghost moth zombie. All right, what do we got in here? Nothing that looks too good, but several new kinds of staff that I don't want. Something opens the door, probably a dang greater mummy. Ah, oh, mummy priest. Not too bad. I'll just exclude that area so I can auto-explore. A file of floods, huh? Let me grab that. Put on this new ring. Slaying, pass, a new artifact ring, this could be good, could have blink in it, it does have blink in it, I'll take it, memorize blink, yes, put it on like I, uh, drop that book, Book of Annihilations, no thanks. Uh, bottle that Anubis Guard, I suppose. Book of Debilitation, no. Manual of Charms, oh, that's cool. Sure, uh, I mean, the only charm I'm using right now is Azakubu's Armor, but if I found like haste or something, I would be happy to be better at charms. Right? I'm using repel missiles too, although I suspect it's probably maxed out. No, it's not. All right. Well, uh, sure. We'll work on charms too. Honestly, I should just like focus charms so I can be done with this manual as soon as possible and throw it away. Book of spatial translocations. Oh, well, I have that. That is uh, apportation. Yeah, give me that. Put it on P, please. Uh, what else is around here? Uh, drop the old book. There's that pair of boots. Try those on. Plus two. Plus one pair of boots of stealth. Sold. You got me. I'll take them. Lose one armor for a little more stealth. And I can always enchant them back up. I mean, not right now, but in the future. Anything else on this floor that I uh, want to grab before I leave this little section of the crypt or the tomb? Looks like no. Did I accidentally forget to re-equip armor or anything? It doesn't look like it. I look good. All right, let's clear this exclusion. Uh, so the rune is going to be back here, probably. Actually, no, it's not going to be in here. It'll be back here. These look like little sarcophagi or something, kind of. I don't know. The stuff in... Oh! It's the rune! We did it! Hello, rune! I guess it gets randomly placed in one of these little loot chambers. Uh, so that's the tier one bonus taken care of. Uh, I am going to finish up the rest of Tomb, though. Because all that's really left is that loot vault, hopefully. And, you know, a few scattered mummies. What is this? A rod of destruction, you say? I'll give it a try. New kind of amulet. Let's go exploring. Wield the lightning rod. There's this Ushabdi who's kind of an issue. Is there like a, did I make a corpse that I could animate? That would be nice, not having to ask Kiku for help. Nope. 
Um, I could just try some rods of destruction and see what happens. Yeah, this this stuff all like oh, I got a bolt of fire. Let's try the other one. Uh, it's like immune to electricity, I imagine. No, just resistant. All right, well let's get out the lightning rod. <laughs> We can handle one Ushabdi on our own, Kiku. I hope. All right, there we go. We did it. Way more gold than we're gonna need. Uh, but hopefully, after we go to Tartarus, we can enter Orc. Won't that be exciting? Uh, so the rest of two, I mean, I guess I'll explore it. Okay, there was nothing. So that's it. We're done with tomb. And does it look kind of like a beetle, a scarab, right? Something. I think that's what it's supposed to look like. Uh, so that's gonna that's gonna do it for this video. And uh, I've been recording for quite a while, uh, so I'm gonna take a break now. Might come back later tonight. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. The videos go up, and then you guys don't care what time it was when I recorded them. Next up, we're headed to Depths, so that's what you've got to look forward to. And somehow we're back to four pips of Kiku Piety, I guess for just killing a few Ushabdis? I don't know. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.